I'm here with the Jaguar Academy of Sport and we're in Manchester today and we're doing some masterclasses on preparation before performance. Preparation obviously can be in, in so many different areas. There can be technical preparation, there can be mental preparation and I think um, it's really about the athlete understanding all those different areas, all those boxes that they need to tick. Physically and mentally prepare is about getting the body ready so that you can optimise your performance, be that in the, the gym or be it out on the track or on court. So it's just trying to make sure that all the activities you do really focus in on the key elements that were fundamental to improve performance. Learning how you learn is preparation. You know, if you're a visual person, if you're a you listening person, if you're someone who does and feels things, you need to know those things. And learning your trait. I can show you know what it takes. If I'm a sprinter and I know that I need to accelerate for X amount of time, and I need to power down the track and I need to be strong upper body, I need to have good cross stability, I need to have speed, I'm going to work all those areas and make sure that I tick them all off. Being an intelligent you know, competitor and an intelligent athlete is, is very important because we're all different. We all have different journeys, different paths and, and, uh, and we're different physically so it's important that you understand your body, you know the strengths and the weaknesses, the areas that you need to improve on, you know, how much training needs to be done, what diet works best for you. And, and uh, you know, certainly in an individual sport, it's very important that you're aware and can tick all the boxes to make sure that you, you know, maximise your potential at the end of the day. For me, it's more mental going onto the court. Like, if I'm not mentally ready, then I, I almost know I won't play very well because uh, everything in tennis is about and mental strength, how you bounce back after losing tough points. We've all heard people say practice makes perfect, and, and that isn't true. Practice makes permanent and it's very important that you ingrain good habits because they will become permanent. So if you're out practicing you know, bad habits, they will become permanent and that's not what we want to do. So I would say you know, practice makes permanent. Go out there, ingrain good habits and uh, they will serve you well in the future.